With societal needs and expectations for travel rapidly changing, leading companies are stepping up their investment in new technology to extend the boundaries of what's possible. This is what's motivating the Boeing Group in its new Boeing Next initiative. This will see the aerospace group take on a holistic, and in some cases unconventional, approach to reimagining the future of transportation. You know, when we think about life today, the busy lives that people lead, what you see happening is that uh, time continues to increase in value. Um, and so therefore, that when you think about that from a transportation standpoint, um, it, it is influencing how we look at how people and goods move. So when you think, uh, you know, that could mean in an urban context or, uh, you know, things closer to the ground, how do we uh, make traveling easier for people, more efficient for people, read not stuck in traffic all the time? And then when you think about travel over long distances, um, how can we go faster? So to really recognize that increasing value of people's time, um, that really is what's behind much of what we're thinking about in terms of our technologies for the future. We're looking at transportation in a holistic method because especially for transportation, you know, as we think about it, it's always going to be multimodal. There's going to be some days you can't fly because for whatever reason. So therefore, if you want to go, you want to go from point A to point B, or you want to move a package from point A to point B, you're going to need multiple ways to do that. Um, so we're trying to take a holistic view of that. Obviously, where our company comes into play is uh, moving through the air. We think moving more people and packages through the air is, uh, will free up constraints on a terrestrial infrastructure and will make travel more efficient. Um, so that's where we're focused, but we also recognize that in, a, in an ecosystem around future mobility, it's going to be multimodal. We're talking about, you know, with our announcement about Boeing Next and really focusing on the ecosystem of this future mobility system, um, it's going to be interconnected. Um, so there's going to be a communications and a networking infrastructure that needs to be there to support that ecosystem. Um, clearly, you know, when we have uh, elements of that with our current air traffic management system, but when we think about a lot more things in the air, um, that's going to have to change and evolve if we're going to maintain our, our levels of safety and integrity of that system. So having that communications and networking infrastructure is going to be very important. Creating an environment in which more diverse modes of transportation can effectively and safely coexist is going to take fresh thinking. The Boeing Next program includes a partnership with artificial intelligence specialist Spark Cognition. So um, we'll be looking at a future air traffic management system you know, where, where vehicles are talking to each other, talking to a network so people know where they are, but, you know, so there's uh, more where uh, vehicles can de-conflict themselves as opposed to needing a human to de-conflict them um, because in a more complex, that's where AI and, and, and these technologies can really help deal with com complexity. You think about more things flying for either urban mobility, moving people, moving packages, um, there will be an incremental approach to this because you know, safety is going to remain at the top priority always. Um, it'll take, as we introduce new flying vehicles, to really understand their reliability, their safety levels. Um, you know, that takes hours of operation and experience. So how do you mitigate that risk until you really feel like you've gained that experience and that those hours of operation to really understand the safety aspects of these things? Um, and so you'll find ways to mitigate that with how you use these assets um, initially. So the good news is, you know, we're not going to go from zero to 10 million things in the air in one day. In terms of long haul air travel, one of the biggest potential game changers is the prospect of hypersonic flights at five times the speed of sound. In the last few weeks, we've rolled out a concept for a hypersonic uh, airplane, so Mach 5 airplane. Um, that's an interesting place to think about this. Um, obviously, this is technology that's probably decades away, but when you think about a Mach 5 airplane on some of these long routes and how many times a day I can turn the airplane, it, it presents some intri intriguing, uh, some economic engineering, we call it, to see does that become the tipping point where this really becomes viable as a uh, uh, really a commercial means of transport. Um, 
you know, technologically there'll be some difficult problems there to solve, but uh, it might it presents some interesting economics as well. So we're going to work start working through that. W once you've got a design that that physic that you know technically closes, then you can start saying, okay, how do the what's the economics of that design? And then I can say, okay, what does the design need to do so I am economically viable? And can I alter the design to do that? All of this is prompting Boeing to cast its net wider as it searches for the skills it will need to rise to the challenge of keeping transportation in step with modern life. When I speak to engineering students, I say, it really doesn't matter to me what your major is. I think we've got a job for you. I don't care whether you're a chemical engineer, whether you're an industrial engineer, human factors engineer, I'm sure we've got a job for you someplace because these are multidisciplinary problems. And so, um, you know, if, if you're a smart engineering student, we want you to come work for the Boeing Company because uh, these are going to be very difficult problems that are multidisciplinary in nature. Um, we will find people that want to specialize in particular areas around propulsion or aerodynamics or, you know, whatever that might be. But, um, but we just want, we need the brightest people in the world thinking about these things. If you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, share it, and subscribe to our channel. Also, visit AINonline.com and check out our e-newsletters for all the latest on the aviation industry.